Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be quickly talking about the Canva magic right limit, copyright, and many other frequently asked questions that usually come along when it comes to AI features. If you haven't gotten to test them out, I will leave my link down below. The cool thing about them is that yes, even with a free account on Canva, you can utilize them. However, I think it goes a little bit downhill from there. Not too much, but I'll give you my opinion on that. So scrolling right down here, there's a lot of questions that I'm going to cover. This is going to be the first and most important one right here. Apparently, I can't highlight it. That's fine. So how much does magic right cost to use? It says it's free for anyone who uses Canva. Anyone with a free Canva subscription can perform up to 25 curies in total. So just 25 after that, nothing. So anyone with a pro teams or NFP subscription can generate up to 75 curies per month, which is all right. I mean, from a creator perspective, you know, as someone who loves to just use AI software and give you examples about how you can do that, I think that kind of stinks, especially for me, because I'm going to fly right through that and I'm going to have to wait like another month in order to do that. So that's my opinion on that. But at least it's cool that people can try it out with the free plan. And of course, moving on up there, if you get a plan, you can generate 75 per month. Uh, it would be cool if they change that in the future. This is still a newer um, feature overall, but let's go over everything else. So how do you get access to it? It's going to be exclusively available in Canva Docs. Pretty simple to do. Up at the top section, there's going to be, you know, let me show you actually. As you can see, when you're on your main page, there's going to be Docs right here. And then of course, you can just select one of these or just go with Doc and you're going to be good to go. That's how you get to it. So what can Magic Write an AI text generator create for you? So it will add a touch of magic to any creative project, including social and ad copy, landing page copy, a lot of copy, <laughs> blog content, website copy, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook post descriptions, stuck for words for invitations or personal correspondence. Magic Write can help inspire the right words to truly make your message feel special. So is it automatically available in my Canva account? It's available in Canva Docs, in Canva Free, Pro, Teams, and Nonprofits accounts. The languages Magic Write works in are English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, and Indonesian. Magic Write is not available in Canva for education accounts. We talked about how much it used. How is AI text generated? So here we go. Here's a good one. Magic Write uses a machine learning model to predict and generate the text you want based on the instructions you provide. It has been trained with data on the public internet up to mid-2020 and uses this data to make its prediction and generate the text. Because the text is generated based on the instructions you provide, the more specific the directions you give, the better your result will be. Okay. If you've been following or watching any of my videos when it comes to AI, I talk about this so much. I'm glad they put that there. The way I like saying it is the quality of your input is going to equal the quality of your output. So if you get something and it doesn't seem right, check what you wrote first. That's usually the biggest thing. I've done that so many times. That's why I love doing these example videos because there's many times where I'll go, mm, that output wasn't that great, but what I'll do is I'll change it around and go, there you go. That's what I needed to do. So. What's the best uh, text AI generator? I mean, that's going to be an opinion-based thing, but that's up to them, you to read. <laughs> can I use Magic Write for personal and or commercial projects? This is going to be an important one. You can use the text you create with Magic Write for any legal purpose, including for personal or commercial projects, as long as you follow Canvas terms, okay? If you're going to use it for commercial projects, please note that you may not have exclusive rights to the text you generate. This means other people may also use it, okay? languages, uh, rules when it comes to this, be a good human. And we ask you to keep this in mind when you're using it. Uh, why isn't my text prompt working? That's some troubleshooting. So who owns the copyright and AI generated text? Unfortunately, there is no easy answer to this. The treatment of AI generated works under copyright law is an open question and the answer may vary depending on what country you live in. For now, Canva does not make any copyright claim over the output you create with Magic Right. As between you and Canva, you own the output you create with Magic Right, subject to following our terms, and you give us the right to host it on our platform to use it for marketing our products. However, please note that this does does not mean you are the copyright owner of the output or that you have exclusive rights to it. So this is coming from Canva. I get this question a lot and it's always just so difficult to answer. And it even seems like it's kind of difficult for them to answer. So I, I understand where they're coming from. It's not always going to be super clear cut, but that's what they have to say. Uh, how are you moderating it to ensure it's safe? And how is my data used? I'll keep those open and pretty much just end it there in case you want to read more of those specific uh, blurbs right there. So 
So that's going to be most of the frequently asked questions when it comes to the Canva Magic Write. I hope that answered many of your questions that you have. I look forward to still doing many more examples. I just wish you'd get more than 75 when you have one of the upgraded plans. That's just with me. So when I go to review it, I'll make sure I talk about that as well, especially if I'm going to be comparing it to other, you know, chat GPT type of platforms, because I know a lot of people are going to want to see that comparison. Anyway, my name is James. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you want to test it out, the link will be down below. Everyone can at least test it. That's a good thing. And that'll do it. I'll see you in my next video.